So how did that end up? It was gripping. Just until the very end. That was gripped. All right, it is Saturday. This morning we're doing something a little bit different. Grant is on call this weekend. He's actually been on call since Thursday. It was almost like a week of being on call. Yeah. It's kind of terrible. But this morning I'm actually coming along with him in the morning because he usually has to just go for a while in the morning on Saturday and Sunday um, because we're going to be going to Costco. Grant is a huge fan of Costco. What is this road? It's country roads. Out in the country. Grant works out in the country. We're on a country road. We're not on a country road. But the reason why I'm here this morning is because we're going to be going to Costco after because the Costco is really close to where Grant works and he loves Costco. I've probably been to Costco like twice in my life. The day that we got engagement pictures, we went over to the Costco in Houston right before he flew back to LA um, because we were getting like a membership because we actually got our honeymoon from Costco. We got a Costco honeymoon, a Hawaii trip from Costco. Dreams do come true. <laughs> Grant booked everything and planned everything, so I don't know, I guess it's a good deal. It was a phenomenal deal. And yeah. you get 2%, if you book travels with them, you get 2% cash back. So we got a bunch of money back from that trip. Yeah, that's really they nice. They paid us to go on our, our honeymoon. I had no idea you could even do trips and stuff like that from Costco, but Grant knew. So we went and got memberships. And then the only other time I think I've been was in Hawaii. When we were in Kauai and we Kauai. actually wanted to have some food and stuff in our room and some snacks and everything. Other than that, I don't do the Costco trips. Honestly, I kind of don't feel like we need Costco stuff because we don't really have a ton of room to store like bulk items, but Grant is a fan. He lives for a Costco trip, and since it's really close to his office, he'll just like stop by there and get random stuff we don't need. Hot dogs. Um, <laughs> I guess hot dogs I too. Hot dogs for lunch. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. But I thought of a couple of things that I thought would be nice to get from Costco, so I'm actually gonna go with him. And really, I, you don't really have to, do you have to work a long time at this hospital? Mm, it should be about the same time. So, so we just actually days. left one place and I was editing my new video and I actually made some good progress, which I'm really happy about. Um, and then now we're gonna go to the next place and I'll do a little bit more editing and then we're gonna go to Costco. A wild weekend. And then we get to do something that's actually fun. He works hard for the money. Take your wife to work day is finally over. I made a lot of progress on editing my video. That's a very good feeling. But we're about to go in here and Grant says that it's just part of the experience to have lunch at Costco. So that's what we're gonna do. I feel like it's a thing. It's a thing, it's gonna be. I, I I've heard a lot of good things. I didn't call ahead, I don't know if we're gonna be able to get a table. <laughs> we'll see. We'll what are you see. supposed to get? Uh, Isn't there like a specific thing? There's like four things. There's pizza, hot dogs, chicken bake, Caesar salad. The menu has been memorized. It's like a six-year-old's dream menu. My review of Costco as a whole is coming. This is what I really want. Ooh. Honestly, a thrilling experience. <laughs> this is really exciting. Call me, beat me if you want to reach me. like he's found a new fashion item he needs and I really have my doubts about the claims on these pants apparently it keeps you at the perfect temperature all year round and that really sounds like some marketing that would really really work on a guy I feel like you'd never see this on women's clothing but on a guy's clothing it's like these are the pants these are the only pants you'll ever need for the rest of your life all year round 365 gonna keep you cool gonna keep you warm gonna hug you at night when you're lonely. Sold. So overall, I'd say my Costco experience, I'd rate it at like a 3.5 basically. Uh, generally good. We discovered some new things that I didn't know about, but it was really, really, really hectic and busy and 
really hard to navigate and we didn't find the one thing that I was actually looking for. I wanted to find like a, I don't know, healthy ice cream is not really a thing, but there are these like ice cream sandwiches that I really like and they used to have them at the grocery store and now I can't find them ever. So I was hoping maybe we could get them from Costco because Grant and I have kind of gotten into a bad habit of always, always, always wanting dessert every night, late at night when we're like just watching TV and stuff. And so I thought maybe that would be a good option, but I didn't have it. Almost had like no ice cream, which I thought was kind of shocking. shocking. It's, yeah, it seemed like something that they would definitely have like a big variety on, but they really didn't have very much at all. So, I don't know, 3.5. I honestly kind of don't know what the fuck this is about. I don't really know. You don't know either, but you're a Costco lover. If you get like certain things, like you buy it in bulk and then you really don't you have to You don't have to go that. back. Yeah. yeah. That's very true. I appreciate that. I bought a pack of toilet paper there. It lasted me like two years. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, like but what if, what, if, uh, what if I was getting my Imodium there? It wouldn't last that long. <laughs> it would last like 20 years. 20 years, yeah. Instead of a regular 10 years. I can see us in 2070 saying, you're still using that Costco modium. <laughs> it's been like expired. What a great purchase. <laughs> we invested in our future with this modium. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you missed a very important vlog where we uh, discovered my lifetime supply of modium that was dwindling. It's dwindling. Okay, now we're on the freeway. We're kind of hitting traffic. It's probably loud, so I'll just tell you. Right now we're on the way to Eclectic in Dallas, and we are looking at a couple of side tables that I saw on their Instagram account that I feel like might be perfect with the new coffee table. I'm not totally sure. And I'm also not totally sure if we really need side tables in that room, but they're just so cool. She actually told Grant that somebody else was coming to look at them on Friday, and I saw them on Thursday night. So hopefully they're still there. I don't know, we'll see. These are the same vintage sellers that I got my 80s dresser and my side table and the mirror that I have in my makeup room slash office. So they have some good stuff. And so even if they don't have those side tables, they'll have other cool stuff, I'm sure. Ooh, look at that car. No lease, no lease. But would you put on your vanity plate? These are the side tables. Aren't they so cool? Obviously, it's a matching pair. I don't know. Do we need these, Grant? Ooh, do we need this mushroom tray? I think yes. <laughs> this is like the breakfast table of my Golden Girls dreams right here. Franny face is speaking to you. No, this is what, this is what speaks to me. So as you can see, well, you're seeing a lot of Costco stuff, but we did some damage in there. They had so much cool stuff. There's a lot of stuff that I see on Instagram and I'm like, oh, I really, really like that, but I don't act on it just because, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with my brain. Like I want something, but I guess I just don't move on it for whatever reason. And that's where Grant comes in. Cause I bring him in and I'm like, oh, I really like this. And he's like, yeah, that would be so cool. Let's get both of them and let's go for this and this and this. It's just very nice how we work together and I really, really appreciate it. So we got a pedestal, we got one of the side tables, we got another planter bowl base base. And I think that's it. I'll show you everything when we get home. We decided to run over to Crate and Barrel because there's a collection that they did with this like HGTV person that I'm actually not familiar with, but I found out about it because on a recent vlog, not the last vlog, but the vlog before that, someone actually left a comment and was like, you need to check out this Crate and Barrel collection because it has your name all over it. I looked it up immediately, like went from answering comments to look it up and Oh my gosh, you guys have me pegged. Like, it is so 
everything that I want and also everything that we need because we really, really, really need a dresser for our bedroom. And I think the dresser they have in this collection could be perfect. They have it in two different colors and Grant seems to really like it too, but he's not quite as excited about Grant. I like the stuff here so I think that thing's really cool, that natural wood. It oh, is so cool. It's popping right now. We gotta get na a natural, <laughs> natural black, white, and a natural kind of tan. I that's like, what I we're like, moving towards. I wanna get a boot like that. It's my next boot purchase. What would that look like? All those colors in the same boot? Not white. No, no, not black, white. white. Black, white, and natural? And, black and kind of like a light tan, like heels. Sort of thing. I didn't realize what I was saying. It was like, oh, pish posh, crazy girl. <laughs> okay, let's go in there. My camera looks like it's trying. But this is so awesome. If you don't live in Dallas, you probably haven't heard about it. But there was a big building right here and they tried to bring it down and it didn't work. <laughs> Basically, this little tower in the center of the building just didn't come down. And they've been trying to chip away at it for, I don't know, weeks at this point. And every night there's a building, I think it's this building right here, there's like a marketing agency and they project different images on the side of the building. So it's been the face of many different brands recently and also just like some jokes and stuff. Like it's the Leaning Tower of Pisa and everyone's taking pictures with it. It's kind of silly, but funny. Oh yeah. I love it. All of this is going to change, obviously. This is amazing. I am so happy. And then we also got this pedestal over here. I have been eyeing this for so long and she had two different ones that were really, really cool, but we just went for this one. Um, I love the pattern and I love the colors and it's definitely gonna go in here, but we have to move some stuff around, obviously. Oh, this room is such a mess, but I love it. Do you like the new side table, Luna Bean? What do you think? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. almost forgot that we also got this awesome vase. <gasps> okay, so I already started putting stuff away, but I figured I'd just show you a little bit of what we got. Obviously, <laughs> a variety of beef jerky. We got some of these keto chocolate snaps. Grant said he saw these last time he was there. We'll see about these. Then we also got some oatmeal probably for me, for my breakfast. I don't know if Grant likes oatmeal, but this sounded kind of interesting because it has a whole mix of stuff, including oatmeal, and it comes in these pre-prepared cups. I don't know, I've never tried it before, so we'll see. And then we got these protein bars once before. We got this combo pack, and I absolutely love the chocolate brownie ones. I'm kind of just so-so on these, but I will eat them. I'm a big fan of Quest bars and they're pretty similar to Quest Bars. I just really like this flavor. And so then we decided to try this combination, the chocolate peanut butter chunk and cookies and cream. I'm like pretty much anything peanut butter, I'm a fan, so we went for these. And then we also got these Wi-Fi smart plugs. So far we haven't gotten anything like this for the house, but I've been thinking about it for a while now. So we just got two to start with and we'll see how they work and see if we like them and maybe we'll get more because they weren't super expensive. Hopefully we didn't get scammed. I was kind of tempted to look on Amazon to see what prices were for other brands, but we just went for these and we'll see how they work. And then we also got a three pack of this Myers Clean Day multi-service cleaner. I've never smelled the lavender, but I've smelled these two fragrances and I really like both of those. It's just a super easy, have it under every bathroom counter, under the sink, pull it out, quick cleaner, you can just use it with like a paper towel or like a rag or whatever it's just super quick and easy not anything crazy or super powerful and super toxic so that's nice uh we also got some apples and oh yeah our fire extinguisher that was kind of a surprise purchase i put up a couple of things but i can't really remember what they are at this point but this is mostly everything we got okay 
Don't mind this over here. I was trying to experiment and it was not working. One thing that we did find at Crate and Barrel, even though they did not have the dresser that we really wanted to look at, uh, we found a couch. So we've been kind of like keeping our side eye open for couch options, but we want it to be comfortable, but we also want it to look cool. And we also want it to be something that we can keep for a long, long time, even if we change our style. And we also want it to be durable, comfy. I think I already said that. But we also want it to look cool, which is such a difficult combination to achieve apparently because cool looking couches are just not comfortable. And that's a very unfortunate fact. I feel like the one that we have here, this is the one that Grant had even before he met me. This is a really good example of like comfort and style combination. But the one thing that I don't like about this one, this is probably something that I could fix or like manage those cushions they get very defeated looking very very easily but what i'm trying to say is we did find an option at crate and barrel and it's really comfy and we really like the material so we got a couple of color swatches and in our house they all look really really similar at least these two look extremely similar and in the store they looked wildly different <laughs> hello are you helping <laughs> And it's just kind of a difficult thing because on this rug, you've got cool tones, you've got warm tones, and just like within the room, we definitely have a big mix. Let's see. Ooh, in that situation, I think the one on the right goes better. Yeah. Yeah. Here. I agree. I think again, the one on the right. Ooh, but the one on the left looks like it's like a dead on match. Okay. For my favorite thing in the room, the coffee table. But in the store, they had this color on the whole couch and it looked really, really good. It just looked like a nice taupe and from a distance, it really looked like it could go with like anything. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, Miss Dumplin. Ooh, this looks really, really good. We've got steak, potatoes, salad. Grant made us some steaks tonight. Ooh, I'm feeling lucky. This is actually a home chef meal that we had left over from the week. Here we come. We're back. And do you guys still have this snickerdoodle blizzard? Okay, a mini small meat of my lord. A mini? Oh yeah. Uh, a mini Snickers blizzard? Uh oh. A mini Snickers. He's doing it. All right, so you know how I said that we've been on a roll with our desserts at night? Well, obviously we decided to go out with a bang. We're gonna change our ways right after this and we always get mini blizzards so they're like this big and that's plenty for me that's like all i want you get the flavor plenty for anybody you never need this much blizzard and we ordered two minis i think you probably heard it in the vlog and then she came to the window and she was just like laughing like i don't know what happened here they are and i don't know are these larges mediums i think it's a medium they look large. I've never had a, well, I probably had a blizzard this big. I've been eating blizzards my whole life. Now this is Snickerdoodle and it is my favorite flavor. How is the Snickers? I don't think I've ever ordered Snickers, oddly. It like freezes the candy, so it's like real crunchy. Oh. That's pretty good, you know, I. I... That's why I never order M&M. Yeah. I'm not ready. You, you need a bite of this. This is maybe the best Snickerdoodle one I've ever had. It tastes like cinnamon roll. Tastes like you have bits of cinnamon roll in it. Yeah. Isn't that good? It's better than it usually is. Yeah, it's really good. Okay, you're doing it from a major distance here. <laughs> trying to sabotage my bite. Chewing rocks. It's good though. Mm -hmm. There's some tasty rocks. So we're going out with a bang. We're gonna be healthy after this, all right? Healthy. We're not gonna do the midnight desserts. No. It's not midnight right now, it's nine o'clock, but so do a cheers to seal the deal. Laid back. Laid back? Yeah. Grant's not push. feeling well. He said he feels mono-ish right now. Super tired. Yeah. I don't know what. It's lame. And I feel really tired too. <laughs> we had big plans today. We were going to do all this organization and unpacking stuff because, believe it or not, we still have unpacking to do. Yeah. So I guess that's going to roll over to tomorrow. Yeah. We got too into shopping. So I was watching this really dumb reality show on Netflix and I finally finished it. And they showed me a trailer for like a documentary series right after like last episode played and it rolled straight into a trailer that they knew I'd be interested in. And it's the trials of Gabrielle Fernandez. 
I downloaded all the episodes because earlier this morning we had an internet guy come out because our internet was out since yesterday and they couldn't really figure out what was going on. So while we were out today, they actually fixed it, which is amazing, but I downloaded all of them so that maybe we could watch it. I don't know if Grant's gonna be down to watch it. It sounds like the saddest thing, the saddest story possible, but I downloaded it. I don't know if I'm gonna torture myself or not. I probably am, with or without you. With or without As you. usual. I'm so mad that I didn't make you watch Love is Blind with me. So how did that end up? It was gripping. <laughs> Just until the very end. That was gripped. And they're actually gonna have a reunion show. I thought they would have a re reunion show, like play it out like a normal reality show. I've kind of been out of the loop with all reality TV in general. Like I haven't been watching any reality TV for like years at this point. Apparently they're gonna have the reunion episode on YouTube. I guess just because it was super popular. Mm -hmm. I could have predicted some of the couples that uh, didn't stay together, but some of them I was surprised, or I think like one of them I was, I think they did some sneaky editing to throw some curveballs. But I mean, don't they all? Don't they all? We should do a vlog, like a reality show and do like confessionals, like separate interviews. We need like a the, producer. Like the real world confessional. Exactly. I love the real world growing up. This is the best snickerdoodle blizzard I've ever had in my life. Do you regret? If I, well, yeah, if I had known this was gonna be like the end all dessert, I would've gotten a Butterfinger. Well, you wanna go back through? Throw some Butterfingers in here. This DQ is so funny. They always act like there's like, there's just chaos in that kitchen. Like they're running around like crazy, but there's no one in here. There's no, literally no one at the restaurant. Dairy Queen's a wild place. We should take it over. Yeah. This could be my job. I've seen Leanne mopping up that DQ again. With my mom. With your mom. My fun mom. Oh yeah. And... Vibrating. Have you shown that in the vlog? I haven't showed it. I was thinking about showing it tomorrow. Mm. Big finale. Show my Stay new mom. Stay tuned. <laughs> but wait, there's more. I think it's going to be at the state fair this year selling it. <laughs> Put a little headset mic on, doing demonstrations <laughs> for an audience. I would love to. <laughs> I feel like I'm meant for QVC. Yeah. Well, they offered you a deal. Don't you remember that? Oh, yeah. It never really came together, though. Or, like, I didn't follow up on it or something. Yeah. Sounds like me. Bailed on the thing I feel like I'm meant for. <laughs> this is my destiny. I'm not going to call him back. I just ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about in times. Go new way. Hey guys, it is Sunday. Grant's at work right now, and honestly, I've just had such a slow start today. Like, I don't know what's up with me. I think I like slept wrong. My body just like hurts all over. Like I'm really, really achy, especially like in my shoulders and my neck. I don't wanna like sit here and complain and stuff. I don't think I'm sick or anything. I don't know what is up. I do think that that ice cream, that blizzard last night was probably a poor choice. I don't think that made me feel very good, but I don't know. I just feel like really weird and worn out. Uh, but I wanted to yet again for the millionth time attack this countertop really there's not that much stuff on it but this stuff right here is a bunch of stuff that i got from target recently i went into their little organization section looking for one of those turntable spinners because one of you guys told me that they have pretty much the same thing that the container store has that i really 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 love so i wanted to check out what theirs looked like and i thought i got oh i did get one of those <laughs> I left this stuff here because I wanted to show you guys everything and then I didn't do a weekend vlog last weekend and I've just been really distracted and kind of busy and now here we are over a week later and the Target stuff is still sitting here so I figured this is a good way to get myself going, get myself vlogging for the day. I have a lot of like unpacking and organization stuff that I would like to do. Definitely not going to get it all done. I don't know. Let's just like, I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, let's look at the Target stuff. 
Okay, first up, I found this essential oil blend. It's called Sunrise and it smells really, really good. I really love that they have scratch and sniff, almost like a little tester on the side so you can know what it smells like because it's a blend. I got this for one of my diffusers and unfortunately, I kind of think this was a bad decision. It smells really good, but I don't think it is the right kind of bottle of oil for my diffuser. So I don't know, we're gonna see. Okay, now over here, we have a bunch of organizers. This is one that can hang on a shelf and so it almost doubles your shelf, but instead, of being like a riser on top of the shelf it's something that hangs down from the shelf above and creates a little basket i feel like this could be used somewhere honestly i don't know where yet but i think it could be useful okay and like i said they have a spinner like the one that they have at the container store this one has different compartments so the other one is cut like a pizza or like a cake this one has little squares, so I think this could be useful somewhere. I feel like these turntable spinners could be like the solution to the world's problems. Like I just feel like they're so great and I wanna put them everywhere. Next, this is my failed attempt at getting bath mats. So we have needed new bath mats forever and I just decided to go ahead and pull the trigger. I got this square one that's kind of fluffy and already dirty somehow. And then, look who's home. What's going on? I'm showing my Target stuff, finally. So as you can see, black bath mats, they like immediately show every little fleck of dust and hair and literally anything. It just looks kind of filthy, but I feel like black is the answer to our floors and I hate to cover up our tile that I love so much. So that's why I went with black, but it's kind of impractical. I don't know, I showed these to Grant and he was just like meh about it. So I felt like it was a bad choice. I think I need to take him back, but I'm obviously kind of reluctant. And the next organizer type thing is this. I got this for potentially under my bathroom sink. It's a drawer on the bottom and then there's a basket on the top. I still really, really need to finish unpacking and organizing my bathroom cabinet. That, that should have been like top of the list like day one, but for some reason it's gone this long and I think this could work. And honestly, part of it's because I didn't have all of the little things that I wanted and so I waited. Okay, now this one, I honestly, <laughs> When I got home, I kind of forgot that I had this because my basket was stacked really, really high. And this is a stackable organizer with a drawer. It looks so useful, doesn't it? So obviously I got a bunch of different solutions and they all need homes because they're doing me no good sitting on this corner, junking up this cabinet. Oh, the other thing I got, these are old bath mats that I washed and took up and now we just have nothing, which is horribly uncomfortable. They were having a sale on rugs and I found this one. This was gonna be Luna's mat and this was gonna be the backdoor mat because I already have this mat and really, really love it. And I got it quite a long time ago and I was surprised to see it again. And I really, really like it and I feel like it's held up really well and I have it at the back door here. Here's Luna, eating on the naked floor. I don't think she likes to eat on the naked floor. I think she really likes to eat on carpet. So that's why I always put a mat down for her. So that's everything. Oh wait, that's not everything. In the bathroom, the one thing I actually put to use almost immediately, I got this little tiered shelf and it's actually more of like a bronze or like a dark, dark, dark brown. And I put all my stuff here because I was so sick of having all of my stuff like strewn here. And I would really love to be a person that doesn't have anything on her counters but that's just not gonna be me. And I wasn't really sure if it was gonna work, so I left <laughs> the tag on it. I think I can finally safely say it's time to take the tag off. Cause I actually think this is a really, really good solution for me. At first I was thinking it wasn't gonna be good because it wasn't black, but I think like if you look at it, like it looks black, doesn't it? You like it Luna? Is it way too big? <laughs> this was her previous mat. I just had these as like little doormats. These are also from Target, but from like years and years and years ago. I used them as like kitchen mats, all kinds of things. And obviously it's kind of the same vibe, but it's definitely much smaller. Okay, so this is Grant's great idea where we just fold the mat and obviously it makes it like the perfect size. This is a wonderful size for Luna's mat, but it also just kind of looks like we folded a mat. So 
I don't know how I feel about this. It's definitely an improvement and I think Okay, so I just got off the phone with my mom and my dad. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, did you see? The Costco pants have been rejected. They're apparently going back because they're too short. <laughs> okay, so this is the back door. This is where I was gonna put this duplicate rug. Okay, thanks. It's too big too. I made bad choices all around. I didn't think that these were extremely oversized or way too big, but obviously this area is pretty narrow at the back door. And after I washed this one, it didn't look that bad. It was looking really, really dingy, but I think it's okay. This is not really like a very, very well lit area. And against this floor, it doesn't look as aged as it truly is. These two, however, they look pretty old. Look. Against the white tile, it just looks absolutely awful. And obviously the yellow is not a great choice anyway. Oh, does that still smell like your food? Do you miss your food, Matt? I think she recognizes it. She's like, that's where I eat. <laughs> okay, I feel like I've procrastinated way long enough. I'm like getting frustrated with myself even at this point, but I just like feel so weird and out of it right now and like, I don't know, it's just a weird day, I guess. Um, but I've been in between working on the dining room because I have a bunch of boxes up near the window. And since they're all like kind of out of the way, they haven't been like a pressing, urgent matter that I need to deal with, but I definitely do need to deal with them and they're definitely a priority. But like I said earlier, I still have a box in the bathroom and obviously your bathroom stuff you're using all the time. And I have unfortunately been just like taking things out of the box and putting them back in, which is absolute insanity. And the main reason why I've been doing that is just because I don't have all of the little like containers and organizing things that I want for under my cabinet and in my drawers. But at this point, that is really not an excuse I'm willing to take for myself. I need to just make it happen and get rid of this box. So. That's what's about to happen. All this stuff in here is stuff that was in my old bathroom that I already like went through and decluttered. But let's be real, I can always declutter more. Okay, I'm finally done. Let me show you what I did. It's still kind of a mess, of course, surprise, surprise, but it's looking a lot better and obviously there's no box. This is garbage, I have to take out. But I used several of my new containers. I really like this narrow two-tier drawer thing. I don't know what to call it. There's like no easy name, but actually pulling out the drawer is really, really difficult. And whenever I bought it in the store, it was twist tied in the back. So you couldn't actually see how easy it was to pull the drawer out. So I'm not sure if there's something I could do. Maybe I could like grease it up. I don't know. What's up Luna Bean? Mostly I'm just glad that it fits here and I have all my tanning stuff here and then I have my gloves up top. And then over here, I have an extra outlet. I'm not really sure if it's a good idea for me to leave this plugged in, but it would be really, really, really easy if I just left this plugged in here. Over here, other stuff. I don't really wanna explain everything. I'm so tired. Down here, I have extra hair products that I need to go through and really like go back, try them all again, and figure out which ones I need to keep because honestly, 
this is just too much and I didn't want to put it all in the hair drawer. And in here, more hair tools. I've got scrunchies and hair ties and stuff like that. Here's hair extensions. Get ready for the drawer of doom. The top drawer is always like the most chaotic drawer and I definitely want to get some dividers or some little clear bins that I can use here to make this better overall because this is crazy and I need to clear out even more stuff from there. Down here I have hair tools. Again, I really like to get bins. I have like so many of these little travel size Amika hair masks, but I use these. I'm not gonna get rid of these. I love these so much, but I just, I guess I just keep buying them. Um, and then these are like my most used hair products. Down here I have more hair stuff and some extra skin stuff. And then in the very last drawer, it's kind of a hodgepodge of leftovers and infrequently used stuff. So eye stuff, mouth stuff. Well, this isn't infrequently used, but it's kind of a huge bag. Maybe I could pick out just like a few of them and bring it up to the top drawer. I don't know, haven't figured it out. And then I have a few nail things, razors, all that stuff. So I feel really good about this. Obviously it could be better, but I worked with what I had and I'm happy. There is no longer a box in the tub. Da -da. Oh, that guy that called me is like we're out of green peppers and it looks like they used like the ones that they found on the floor. Mm, yeah, <laughs> looks good. This is not a very good looking pizza tonight, fellas. No. Nope. All right, it is the end of the night. We just watched our show. We watched The Outsider. I am like, that show frustrates me so much. By the end of every single episode, I'm just like, can we just, what's gonna happen, okay? And I don't even want a season two on this because it's kind of cheesy, but it's very interesting and I'm definitely gripped by the whole show and I definitely like cannot stop watching it at this point, but it's like, <laughs> I guess that means it's a good show because it's very suspenseful and I really, really wanna know what's gonna happen. I'm about to go to bed. I just felt like so tired all day and so out of it. I don't know what's going on with me, but hopefully tomorrow I feel better. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys had a great weekend and you're having a great week. Subscribe if you want to keep up with all the new vlogs. Thank you. I love you. Bye.